Hi, everybody. Welcome back to Storytime with Kate Mazaris. I'm happy to share a wonderful story for children with you this Memorial Day weekend and hope you and your family are celebrating a good one. The story that I'm going to share today is called We Are Branches, and the story was written by Joyce Sidman, and the pictures are by Beth Crom Cromace. I hope I'm saying your name right, um, if you happen to be reading this story along with us. This is kind of like a story that goes along with the most recent book I shared with you called We Are Water. Um, it's just wonderful. It's a wonderful story about how all of nature is connected, that we are branches. We are all connected, just like the branches of a tree are connected to the trunk and the roots. So I hope you enjoy this story as much as I'm enjoying sharing it with you. So let's begin together. Look how we grow, lifting toward the sun, spreading wide to catch each drop of light. Look how we sink deep in the soil to drink and grasp and steady. Without the roots of a tree, we wouldn't have any growth. And it's interesting because if I turn this book upside down, don't those roots look like the branches? We say in the yoga tradition, as above, so below. Is that interesting? Feel our soft strength stretching to sail the wind. Smell our petals unfurling with color, the smell of unstoppable life. If you have time this summer, study a flower and notice how the petals open up like a spiral. Uh, I was watching a documentary the other day and they were saying how the petals open up in a way that allows the plant to bring in the most efficient sunlight and water. Plus it's just beautiful to look at. Listen to our beginnings, a whisper of wet, a trickle of song, joining with others. You see the others, so I call that a dragonfly. So the petals here, just wonderful. I had a good rain yesterday as I'm looking out into my backyard today. You can see this in real time. Finding paths flowing from many into one. Again, as you look at how the water flows, doesn't that look like branches of a tree as well? Isn't that interesting? We crackle between clouds and shoot downward toward earth, splitting the sky with energy. Look at those branches of light we call lightning. We splinter rock and mud. So when the earth dries up, when there's not a lot of water, you'll see these crackles too. And they look like branches. We sprout in ice. Those are crystals or frost on glass. Those branches as well. We fall softly. Can you taste the cool tickle of our perfect crystals? Look at those beautiful snowflakes, each one different, but each one having branches. It's kind of like they all have a, a like a circular shape, even though like, this one's not a circle, but there's all kinds of patterns that are, this, that are similar in those snowflakes. Just like each one of us are different, but we all have similar patterns. From small to big, starfish and sea coral branches there as well. We repeat again and again. See those branches repeating. Everything that grows has branches and it repeats 
again and again. Even the tiniest little seed, if you plant it, it will repeat what that seed is over and over and over. Everything that's contained in the whole of a plant is in one little seed. We are strong legs that run and toes that grip. Arms that stretch wide into fabulous fingers. Even like the, the um, bones of a bat, they look like branches as well, don't they? We are inside you too. We flow and pump, growing outward like a tree to all your parts. Then we pour back in rivers toward your heart. It's the, our circulatory system for those of you that know about uh, veins and arteries, the way that our blood flows through our body. It flows out into all the different parts of us and then they circle back to our heart and lungs. We are strong. We are brave. We are branches. Years ago, I was walking through the forest at Wildwood in the wintertime when there weren't any leaves on the trees. And that's one of my favorite times of year is to look at the trees when they're just branches. And I stood in the middle of a bunch of, of trees that were all kind of clustered together. And I looked up and when I saw the branches and how they kind of intermingled and, and twisted out, it reminded me of photos that I had seen of our lungs. I thought how interesting that the trees that provide us with oxygen look just like our lungs and that's how we breathe. So I hope you enjoyed this story that showed you how all of us are branches. We all have branches, all living things. So the next time you're out in nature, take a look at a tree or a flower or an animal and see if you can find those living branches too. I'll put a link to this book to our local library in the description below, and also a link to this book on Amazon if you'd like to share it with your children or give it as a gift. So until I see you the next time, have a great day.